Okay, so today's a little bit of a different day. I filmed today's intro about three times on the third floor. We are in my death pile room today. We are in the third floor room today. And I just was not feeling it. Uh, we had one of the windows blow out in a recent windstorm, just completely explode. There was glass everywhere out of the window. And it just like, I go up there now and I'm just like, I'm just not feeling it right now. So I decided after trying to film it three times and just, ugh, that I was gonna jump in the car and drive over to the shop and just dig through some boxes. I kind of wanted to like throw a little variety in and mix it up. Um, <laughs> but on top of that, we're under a tornado watch right now. So if you <laughs> look at this field, <laughs> the field is seriously right now just going absolutely nuts. The trees are a little bit crazy. Um, so we're under a tornado watch right now, but you see that giant mountain right there. I don't know, I'm, I'm honestly, you guys are probably like, what's a tornado watch? Why are you going out driving? Honestly, I, I lived in Kansas for a while and I mean, all things are relative. I lived in Kansas, this is South Central Pennsylvania. I've lived here for over 16 years, I don't think I've ever seen a tornado. And yeah, we're under a tornado watch, but this really isn't that bad. Compared to the wind we had the other day that blew my window out, um, we're going over to the shop. We're gonna go through some boxes. It's bright and sunshiny and uh, yeah, let's go do this. <laughs> Okay, so we've got two boxes right here that I just went and pulled right off the pile. I've got a whole pile of banana boxes over here. Um, these boxes are from a booth cleanout. Eric had a booth cleanout down the road at another antique shop, and he invited Andrew and I to go and help do that booth cleanout. Uh, and then he's got all of the stuff stored here at our shop, and he said, have at it, go through it, pick out what you want and then I'll take whatever you don't want. And so, over this quarantine, we had this opportunity to go through this stuff that he's storing here at our shop and decide what we want and what we don't want. And then basically he's just gonna charge us for the stuff that we decide to keep and take away what we don't want and probably sell it at the flea market whenever that opens again because obviously everything is closed, even the flea market. So, I grabbed two boxes off the top we're gonna go through them. So far, we've found some really pretty cool stuff in these boxes, and the great thing about this is I have absolutely no clue what is in these boxes. The sky's getting really dark over there. Are we worried at all about tornadoes? I'm not. The sky's not green. I know. Well, you lived in Illinois. I was telling them, I'm like, I lived in Kansas for a while, and I mean, we live right by a mountain, so, you know, tornadoes in South Central Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're gonna go through some boxes. It's to when the dive. sky turns green. That's I know, green. I've seen green skies. I've heard the tornado <laughs> alerts and had to go down into my basement. I know. <laughs> All right. You guys saw that. <laughs> I didn't do that very sneakily, did I? I was like, oh, that's because it's inside of that other thing and I don't know. I don't know how long I have to hold it there to really, uh, <laughs> for effect. Um, this is not marked. It is a hen on a nest. But it's is it marked just... as is? Is it? No, it's hen no. on a nest. Okay. Well, $5. It's, it's marked five bucks. Typically we can get between five and 10 for these, just plain white ones. Mm -hmm. I was actually looking to see if it was marked Westmoreland, but it is not. It's pretty opaque. It is opaque. Opaque. Everybody makes fun of me for saying opaque. I've gone my entire life saying opaque, and now that everybody's corrected me in videos, I'm trying to, to train myself to say opaque because I realize that's how it's supposed to be said. It's going to be a long journey, and you guys are just going to have to bear with me on this one. One video at a time. These are cool. What are you pulling out of there? These are show actually. Me, um, show me. These are actually advertising premiums for rudders. Rudders! Yeah. Compliments of Rudders Brothers Daria. Daria. Daria? <laughs> you know. I like, dare you to pronounce I that correctly. I dare you. Speaking of not being able to pronounce opaque. 
Opaqua? Oh boy. Are you sure it's not Opaqua? It's been like a really long Opaqua? 14 days. Opaqua. <laughs> oh man. St. John's Episcopal Church. York Liberty Bell. And Warrington Meeting House in Rossville, PA. Those are cool. I like those. Do you? Yeah. I feel like those have a very limited market. I think I feel like they have a very limited market, but we have them and they're gonna be inexpensive and I'll put them up and somebody will probably like them. Okay. People that collect milk memorabilia or milk bottles. Yeah, because they're collect. Redder's Dairy. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 they're an advertising premium. Redder's Dairy? Dairy. <laughs> It sounds like what I just did in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this lady that's about to walk by the window is going to look at you right here. They always look at me and they're like, <coughs> What is this nut job? Why is she in sitting here? in front of the window? All right. We've got this gravy boat here. It is actually marked. Maito China. Now, Maito was kind of an offshoot of Noritake. Um, a lot of the decorators from Noritake kind of shot off and created their own um, Maito China. Um, so here you have it. Um, but yeah, so this is actually Maito China, hand painted. Uh, but it's actually really nice and it is actually hand painted. I know I show you guys a lot of the times the pieces that are transfer wear and not actually hand painted like they have one petal that is hand painted but this is actually actually hand painted so it's kind of nice. I like when the underplate is attached. I think it's different and weird but I like it. All right what else do we have? We've got two little juice cups. Those are nice little flowers on them. They kind of remind me of the peanut butter glasses. I don't know if they are peanut butter glasses, only juice size. I'm not sure. They're marked $10 a piece, so maybe they're actually something special. I'm not sure. But to be worth $10 a piece, they may be. I don't know. These are something that I wouldn't pay $10 a piece for. But... Who knows? I may have just learned something new. All these people are walking in front of my window. If you see my my eyes go like this, it's because somebody walked in front of my window. What do we have here? This is a <laughs> I don't know. It's like a bunch of eastern states. Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky. I don't know. I'm not sure what this is. We're just not gonna talk about that. I think this is Avon. Mm, that is Avon. <laughs> These are Avon Cape Cod glasses, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, yes, they say right on there. They are Avon Cape Cod glasses. Now my understanding is of all of the Avon line, and this used to be the case. I'm not sure if it is anymore because I don't typically buy and sell Avon. It's something that I avoid. I don't buy and sell it. Whenever Andrew brings it home, I beat him. That's his word against mine, obviously. Um, I don't actually do that. That's a joke. <laughs> Some people take me way too seriously. Um, but I don't typically buy and sell Avon. Uh, a couple years ago, the Cape Cod ruby glasses like this were some of the best selling Avon pieces, especially when you had them in a set. I'm not sure if that's still the case. I haven't researched Avon in a long time because I'm not actively buying and selling it. But this is the Cape Cod Avon and there's more of it. There are goblets <laughs> and more of these little guys. There's not like a full set, but there are three little guys and a couple of these. Are those? No, I don't think they are. Those are just ruby glasses. I'm gonna say those don't actually look like Avon. Those might be something that I would buy and sell just because they're ruby colored. Those have 
if we can get it to focus if I just lean my face out. <laughs> These here actually kind of have, if you look here, um, kind of a cubist. You can see right there. So that might be something that I would be interested in selling because we've got a set of four. So I would be interested in selling those. However, I will not take the Avon glasses. Even though those are the better pieces of Avon, I just, Avon is not something that I buy myself. It's one of those that I steer clear from. Um, this. I think this is just decorative. And there is actually no price on it, so I don't know where it came from or what its purpose is. Now, a lot of this got mixed up when they were cleaning out the booth because they were in such a hurry to clean it out that they were just throwing stuff in boxes. So I'm sure stuff got mixed up, you know, some of the stuff missing lids. Maybe the lid is in a different box. Maybe there was a set of these and, you know, some of the set is in another box. It was really just hectic and chaotic. I actually kind of took a step back and let them just deal with the whole thing. That's why I have no idea what is in these boxes. Um, I just kind of let them do their thing and <laughs> took a step back. Um, so a wine stopper. I don't really need any of those. Um, I've got more Avon here. This is the Cape Cod. You know, so, so this is more of the Cape Cod Ruby stuff, but this is a salt shaker. These are new in box. These I might be tempted with only because they're new in box versus those that are not new in box. I don't know, I might have to show. Although here, here it says, granted, this is like a scent. This is not a, I'm really confused by this. Okay. My mom was never really into Avon or anything, so I never really learned about Avon until I got into buying and selling. Um, Cape Cod salt shaker. But I'm very confused because it's a cologne. So how does it, how do you put salt in it if it's cologne? Right? You guys are all like, duh. Because I feel like if you were to dump out the cologne and put the the salt in there, it would just taste like cologne, which would be gross. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to ask Andrew when he comes back. I guess that seems like an Andrew question. This is a ceramic crock. I would uh, lean towards a planter or a utensil holder. Uh, this is probably something that I would not keep. I would probably give this back to Eric, mostly because if I look at the bottom, there is no wear on the bottom. It looks like there were modern stickers at one point. This is probably a modern piece, and I know that I could acquire an older, more vintage piece that would probably appeal more to my viewers and my buyers a lot more than a modern ceramic piece. So. Most of the stuff out of this box is probably going to be going back to Eric. This cocktail shaker. This, I believe, is also modern. I know it's got that vintage look, but this looks to me like something that would come from Target. I think this is something that is made to look vintage, but is not. Um, I don't think it's actually vintage. So, again, not something. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm, I realize that this stuff could sell and that it has resale value. I'm just really into buying and selling vintage and antique stuff. So <laughs> you could probably resell it, but you guys know I'm just partial, I guess. Here we've got a sifter. This is kind of neat because it has that uh, kind of dome at the bottom. I kind of like that. I think that's interesting. I don't usually buy kitchen things either, so 
That's interesting. Bromwells, Bromwells, measuring sifter guaranteed. I don't know. It's kind of an interesting shape. Interesting. We need Andrew's opinion on these things. Uh, this has got a J on it. Um, so this piece I would also pass on. <laughs> It does appear vintage, however, it is flashed. So we've talked about this in previous videos. It is flashed, so what that means is that the glass itself, you can see here as I'm holding it, you can see my mouth is clear. And the, surround, the surrounding is kind of this cranberry color, which that means is that the color is applied and you can actually see where it has been scratched off. So you can see the color is being scratched off. And uh, the J, actually on the bottom i saw the j i thought what does that stand for the j probably stands for jeanette because jeanette was one of the companies that was really into doing flash i don't know for certain but i'm thinking the j may stand for jeanette but i'm just really not into flash pieces especially because they just wear and they show that they show that wear. um hi andrew hi thoughts first of all yeah. i'd like to get your opinion on these. No. They say Avon on them, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, I, I just, I want to get your take on them because I'm very confused as to how you salt shake them. <clears throat> well, you probably open the lid and shake. But they're filled with cologne. Um. I don't see any cologne or... Look at the box, Andrew! This looks like Lennox. Is that Lennox? Oh, it is Topaz cologne. That's what I'm saying! It's cologne! Okay, so... How do you salt shake it? You're not supposed to. It's just a cologne in the shape of a shaker. That's the little cover. You Why don't. does it look like a shaker if you're not supposed to shake it? Yeah, you don't. It's just poo. Put that back on there so I can put the poo back in the poo box. <laughs> it's like one of the worst things I've ever seen you take time to do. <laughs> Ew. We've got three of them. No, we don't. We have none of them. Eric has three of them. <laughs> I was just trying to figure them out. Common core math is simple. How many do we have? Zero. <laughs> if we don't have any to start with, we don't have to do a math project on it. <laughs> no to the Avon. Unless it's hummingbirds. Unless it's hummingbirds. This? No. <laughs> go buy all I want. Put it in the window. Oh, no. Go put it in the window. No. Look, he's already kind of rocking. We have too much crap. Turn him towards the window. Look at him. Come on, we don't need any more flea market dollar store. So, trinkets. no to the Avon Cape Cod? No to the Avon. That means that entire pile sitting down there, too. Sifter? No, it's not fancy. But it's weird because it's got the domed bottom. Mm, they all have a domed bottom. Oh, no, 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 I've seen. Maybe I just don't see enough sifters. Wine stopper. No. Gravy boat. No. Mito. No. Is it because it's the weird shape? <laughs> no. Cocktail shaker. No. 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 Possible Lennox? No. Cape Cod? Nope. More? Mm, nope. 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 States glasses. Mm, you know, I was actually, I would have considered that one had it not been run through the dishwasher and looked dull as snot. Or do you think that as just like a satin fin? Actually, it's got kind of a nice sheen to it. It's East Central state glass. Michigan's in there. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like these glasses, but they don't really bring very much. So I'm just going to have to 
put that back in the box. Yeah, we can do that. I like those. Those those are good for us. These little juices. I like those. I, I like do the, too. I like the flowers on them. I wish we had more. I know there's only two. There I, may be more in other boxes. I, I was explaining to them that when you guys did the clean out, yeah. it was kind of just like throwing stuff in all these different boxes. Yeah. So it's possible stuff got mixed up. Now these I like. These are not. They're not Avon. They're not Avon. No, and I like the. Um, the Cubist. The they cubist, kind of have yeah. a Cubist. Yeah, see that I do like. So those, I thought those were nice. Yeah, these I'd hang on so to. So those yeah. I set aside. So basically we're taking a couple things out of the box. And so that's it. Them. Yeah. That's okay. That's all right. I mean, listen. Eric's going to be like ready for the flea market. Mm, he, he, he knew and he expected what was in here. He, knew, he knows what's in here. He knows what we buy and what we don't. Ooh. See, now there's so much more nicer stuff in here. I have to say, they do have nice stuff. They do. And yeah. just because it's not my taste doesn't mean that it's not good stuff. I mean, like, I like this, even though it's clear and you'd be like, Ehh. It's got a dainty... I like the I shape like of that. I like the handles on that. I like the I etching. I don't dislike it. I like the etching. Make me sound like a horrible person because I don't like clear glass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just a horrible person for other reasons. You beat me and you're... <laughs> Horrible to me because everybody says so. <laughs> See, even they, they agree. They agree. <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> well, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna stop you right there, though. Stop pulling stuff at the box. No. We're already 21 minutes into this video. Oh well then. So we're gonna stop the video right that's here. That's all you get. Um, because. <laughs> no more video for you. We're going to stop the video and uh, we're going to carry this into tomorrow because, you know, we're just looking for footage and uh, we've got nothing better to do. So we're going to stop the video. We're going to carry this into tomorrow. I've got a couple things planned. We're going to go through this box. We're probably going to go through another box. And then I actually... We're doing this to keep ourselves entertained. Yeah, pretty much. And actually my battery is running low, so I don't know how much longer we're really going to be, be able to keep this up. But I did want to take you guys through the listing process. So I'm going to grab one of the things out of this box and we're going to take it into Andrew's office. And I'm going to show you guys how I list stuff on eBay. Kind of, not really. I'm going to do a more in-depth something later, but I'm going to show you our whole setup, um, what we use to list stuff, um, the whole box that we use um, and all that. So we're going to do that a little bit later. Probably you'll see it in a few days. We're going to do it today though. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go through this box and I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that. Oh, don't pull it out yet. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.